Hello Internet, I'm Yoli Bay, and it's time for another chapter of Ruby Volume 8. This is chapter 5. As I should say, with all reaction videos, please click the link in the description below to go and watch the actual episode itself before watching mine or anyone else's reactions. Don't be a dick, support the official release. Alright, so last chapter we lost Oscar. And he was getting tortured, which uh, was... Oh, it was not pleasant to watch. Um, Cinder's uh, leaving the whale with Neo and Emerald. Uh, Ruby and Blake are all concerned about Yang while they're at Shnee Manor waiting for Nora to recover. And things aren't looking so good for Jean Ren and Yang right now. I'll just say that much. Uh, but in the thumbnail, we see Pietro. And Maria, the, well, the episode's titled Amity. Amity, I hit my pot filter there for a moment there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I've got no idea what I think is going to happen aside from maybe we're just going to see Penny arrive at Amity. That, that's about all I can really uh, think. And, uh... Just a wee bit nervous stuff to see what else happens. But, uh... Well, I remain optimistic. I'll put my headphones on. As annoying as it is to put them on while wearing a Santa hat underneath them. There we are. Wait. Only feeling a slight bit of uncomfort, but you know what? It's December. It's this time of year. Wearing the Santa hat for videos. Alright, uh, skipping the intro just like I always do. And I'm ship and hit play. And here's where I cut back. Oh, okay. Starting off with the amity scene. Oh, uh, I'm worried about you, Pietro. I'm worried about a lot of people. Penny? Huh? Seem like a very good idea. What are you doing? There is a difference between a good idea and our best idea. What? We don't have time for much else. Um. Systems up and run into why are you arming an explosive? Keep amity in atmospheric orbit. Our thrusters just aren't capable of reaching our target altitude on their own. <laughs> Fortunately, where's the hundred tons of thrust? Wait, is that where they send with the explosive to, like, propel them? Also, Maria in a giant robot. That's amazing. But what if no one is able to come and help Atlas? If I stay behind, I could maybe... Penny, having this conversation again. I get it, but that's really, really risky as well. You belong on Amity. Yes, sir. Don't you think Penny has had enough people telling her what to do? Uh, that's the thing. Moving us into position. So on one hand, yes, yeah, she could be a big help, but on the other hand, if things go south, everything's screwed. All systems are ready. Penny? Amity is requesting launch access now. Okay. Oh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> All right. Getting Amity up. I didn't have time to install seatbelts, so uh, I'd advise. Oh God. <laughs> um. Oh, that's Cinder, isn't it? Yep. Also, that is a cool entrance. I mean, what do you expect her to do? Alright. Full Maiden Cinder versus Winter Maiden Penny. Let's do this. That is a cool shot, too. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh no, Ironwood, what are you up to? Oh shit! <laughs> oh boy. That's a lot of knives! And that's a lot of swords blocking them. Jesus. Oh! <laughs> wow! Uh... Swearing sensor, I guess! Yeah, that's a problem. Oh boy. Maria, it's not looking so hot for ya. And what do you want? Huh? Jesus. <laughs> oh really, Neo? That makes you feel big fighting an old lady? Alright, a little bit of drift, but as long as you're still, like, elevating, that might be okay, maybe? I don't know. Also, this is really cool. That is awesome! There we go. <laughs> Boom. Ah, oh, she's drawing her away! Clever! Although, with Ironwood saying it's time in a previous scene, I wonder, is he gonna have that hack initiated? Oh no, she's gonna go after Pietro. Also, Jesus, Maria's holding her own against Neo! Ah, oh, she still has one of them! That's cool! Go, Maria! <laughs> uh oh. Why are you doing this? Why serve someone like Salem? I don't serve anyone, and you wouldn't either if you weren't built that way. Oh boy. Damn right. Although, now that you're busy with this, uh, kind of wide open for Cinder to attack. Like that! Ooh. Okay, that's a problem. Jesus. Okay, close school penny, but you're still okay. Jesus. That was a pretty big hit. Oh. Oh no. Some kind of like. Oh, she's scanning them! 
was questioning if like, mentally if she could do that. Oh god. <laughs> Very close. No, I can't beat you. But I can fill that thing full of holes before you take me down. Huh. Okay. Also, chalk another one up for Cinder failing to get more Bane power. Our window. Oh no. At this rate, we'll likely drift into touching down just north. I can fix this. What? Our message is only a few minutes long. What are you I can try trying and to do? Place until Absolutely oh. not. You're in no condition to do something like this. Even just the temperature out there. Could... It is our only option. I mean, she has got you there, Pietro. We have to remember the big picture. I don't care about the big picture. I care about my daughter. Oh. I lost you before. And you In this very arena, actually. No. No. I want the chance to watch you live your life. Pietro. Wait. I get it, and... Just asking this of you, it's... Uh. I'm trying to. Right. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's see uh let's see if this works and I'm a little worried about uh something potentially happening. I swear to god I would if you mess this up. Almost there. Use that maiden strength. Jesus, didn't really she could like supercharge it. Hey, it's Bill again. <laughs> Has to be Ruby. Hi. <laughs> Just, uh, hi. I'm a huntress. And if we've done everything right, then I'm talking to all of Remnant right now. Dr. Paul and Dina can explain more later. But right now, you all... Oh, hey, it's him again! Atlas is under attack. Adrian. Things are dire, and we need help. But please, try not to panic. This isn't some new enemy or invading kingdom. This is a force we face... Oh, hey, we get to see Sun and Neptune! Salem. <laughs> Just do Ilya! I wonder, are we going to see Ty because of this? I know the idea of the maidens and relics seems... Well, great. Come on, Penny. But I <laughs> even poor old man Shelby came back. <laughs> and there's Glenda! They might even be able to help wow, they actually brought her back. After all this freaking time. Sadly, General Ironwood can no longer be trusted. Hey, she's not wrong. It seems Polandina's proxy trick worked. And that's good news for us. Penny's blades operate on the same principle as Amity in the launch terminal. 
In order for her to control them all. Oh no. We didn't have time to prepare for Salem. But now you do. <laughs> oh, and she's Oh boy. Ruby's face. She knows we're a threat. So even if we even if Oh we're no. Safe, you can't give up. <sighs> oh come on, Penny, fight it. <laughs> Right as we see Ty there gets cut off. Get back inside. We can ride out on Amity together. Uh, I I have to go. The bolt. Uh, no. Oh no. Dad. Oh, this is not good. just went back down and penny isn't responding <laughs> what did you do exactly what you asked it's possible penny's systems are merely rebooting as for the tower well that pietro isn't the genius you thought no. <laughs> we're not waiting you're going to find her winter oh Sorry. boy until Penny either responds or is standing in front of that vault, we cannot assume her status. Take the ace ops. I want constant updates. <sighs> Ironwood, you really did not think any of this through. With pleasure. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why'd we lose signal? Uh oh. There's another one. I think it's just up ahead. Oh, we're about to see what they're going to deal with. What is this? The fuck? Um It's grim. A river of grim. Oh god. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts, uh, in my head. I, um, for one thing, just... I am with why, like... The fact he's putting like he, the <sighs> so, so much of everything that's going wrong can just be chalked up to Ironwood choosing to keep what's alive, or even then just trusting him to do. Well, not trusting him, but like having him specifically do this like did you not think that he would find a way to mess things up even further and given that he now has the the remains of uh Ironwood scroll yeah he's totally gonna control penny make her do like all sorts of nonsense like uh Kill a whole lot of people, maybe. Bring the relic to Salem and just have Atlas crash everything. And... Yeah. <sighs> the 
Aside from all that, though, uh, the Penny Cinder fight was pretty damn cool. Uh, mad respect <laughs> to uh, Maria for holding her own against Neo of all people. Like, oh my god! And the fact that Neo was able to like hold her own against like Cinder, like even beat Yang and Ruby. Like, Jesus Christ, Maria is one tough old lady. <laughs> Uh, also, like, because of uh, the Death Power fan in me, like, there's so many shots where I'm just like, oh my god, now I can't stop thinking about how powerful that's gotta be. Like, Cinder blasting her way through all of Amity, Penny holding up Amity, or anytime Penny fires a laser, because I've looked into it, those are light. Because they follow the same the rules of lasers, they don't explode upon contact, they move in straight consistent lines, they don't bend in midair, they burn through anything they hit. Like a light laser would. So anytime those are used, like that's just going through my head. Uh oh, or anytime that uh, like storm cloud is created or like moved. And now with like Penny lifting Amity and falling like as far as she did and even to the point where she caught fire. I, I forget how fast you yeah, have to be moving to ignite. But uh, anyway, so that, that's not really important. But the important thing is shit's going down and uh Just when things are actually looking good, Ironwood's plan uh, just messes things up even further. Though aside from that, it was nice to see all the characters, well, not all the characters, but a whole lot of the characters that we haven't seen for a long time. Like, of all people, I really didn't expect to see Old Man Shopkeep again. Like, okay, though it was still great to see him and all. Uh, Glinda, who everyone has been asking about. <laughs> so, yeah, she's finally back. Uh, I, just, I still feel guy that has to cut off when we're seeing Tai Yang, and he's... He's more so just heartbroken that it's the fact that he's seeing his daughter for the first time in who knows how long. I kind of feel bad for him now. Uh, but also, uh, Ilya. Got to see her back, which I enjoy. And, you know, getting a call from Gera. So, I wonder if they'll be on their way as backup. Or, I don't know. It was just a thought. Although, I wonder, were they in Menagerie? It, it looked like Menagerie. It was either that or, like, somewhere in Mistral, maybe. But... And we also got to see uh, Sun and Neptune. And once again, not Scarlet and Sage. I'm just throwing that out there. Because outside of the book, let's be real, Team Sun only has two members. <sighs> but regardless, um... Oh, um... Saffron, Terracotta, and Adrian. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot their names for a moment. Uh, but yeah, that that was really nice to see. And like that shot of Ruby, Blake, and Weiss just like watching the message and Ruby's face. Just like, oh like the fact that it's her being broadcast worldwide. Blake just has that smile, and I forget what facial expression what Weiss was making. I'm really sorry, Max. Don't be mad at me. Um, but also, just ooh, seeing Nora and all those bandages just mm, was a. Uh, I'm hoping she's okay. Like she's gotta be right. Uh, and then we get. The last scene. Okay. So. 
I thought that the crack that we saw in the last episode, like at the very end, I thought that was going to be like either, let's say, Apathy Graham or the Silverfish Graham that won that Grim Design competition. And no, it's a river of Grim that's making its way towards Mantle. Oh boy. Oh, man. I really don't know what else to say. Like, I guess for, in terms of like, the next episode, best I can gather is, like, I don't know, Penny versus Aesop's and Winter. Because, like, Watts is going to be all, like, doing his, like, hacky stuff and making a fight all of them. Oh, God. I just thought if Penny slaughters the Aesop's, Jesus Christ. Well, so, like, this is a little messed up for me to say I like, but I do like how Penny being hacked is, like, red. Because, yeah, Penny is inspired by Pinocchio, and there's a certain Marvel robot that stole a thing from Pinocchio, and that being no strings on me. Ultron, who's like, oh, whose glow is like red when he's been one of his bodies. He's evil, and Penny is when they have that connection to Pinocchio. Kind of comes together. It's just a coincidence, but I thought it was a funny one. Anyway, uh, I guess all I can really say about this is okay, if you want me to like talk about it a bit more in depth then I would recommend either waiting a little bit, uh, about a few hours after this is posted, and it'll be on my channel, um, a Max and Mate discussion. Uh, where myself and Max a few trades uh, will discuss this episode, or if you like, you can click one of the links in the description to go to Brobuscus's channel and check out Brobuscast, where me, him, and Aiden will uh, discuss uh, this episode as well. So, yeah, if there's anything I missed, I might talk about it in those. So, yeah. I'm just going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, all of that stuff, and because we're on Chapter 5 and I can restart the cycle, here's my Ruby outro. Bye. Also, I've just realized it makes sense because she had the broadcasted message. Bye. This is Ruby Rose, and you've been watching your only mate. Bye.